Good day everybody, the Young Highland Lad here. I want to do a quick video today and show you a really nifty and very inexpensive setup uh, for your Android phone. You can do this with iPhone as well in order to stream Steam games to it and also play with a 360 controller. You can do this with the PS4 controller too. They make adapters for that and there's actually one that will include the cable you need and I'll put the link to that below in the description. But for today, we're going to be using my Android phone, which is a Galaxy Note 8, an Xbox One controller, the mount for the controller, and the OTG cable. Now this is a USB type C to micro USB. That end goes in the controller, the other to the phone itself. That'll give me a hardwired connection. Obviously you can still use Bluetooth and as far as I know and as far as I've read, there doesn't seem to be any latency differences between being hardwired and using Bluetooth with the Xbox One controller. I just wanted to test out just in case and also see, you know, if the uh, cable itself will work with my phone, which seems to. So let's go ahead and open these up and get everything connected. Okay, so this is the mount right here. This goes right onto the controller. Just line it up with the icon there and snap the bottom. There we go. Your phone obviously goes in there and it's retractable. It will fit with a case, maybe not a huge case, not like the outer boxes or anything like that, but a standard case for the Galaxy Note 8 and a similar sized phones. It also has a little kickstand on the back so you can set it down a little easier. That's cool. Let's open this up and again, I'll put the links to this. I bought them both on Amazon. The cable itself was only $5.99, the mount was $8.99, and like I said, they do make them for the uh, PS4 controller and the uh, Nintendo Switch controller. I did not see one for the Pro controller for the Switch. There might be something out there um, that I just didn't see, but in the meantime, this is going to be our setup. So first things first, I'm going to plug the connector into my phone. I'm going to unlock my phone real quick. All right, here's my phone. Really cool uh, Bloodborne artwork that I uh, saw online. I Forgot what the artist is, but if I find it, I'll put it in the uh, description below as well. So anyway, we got the USB side hooked up. I'm gonna slap this right on my phone. Make sure you don't hit the uh, Bixby button by accident. And this end goes right into the controller. I'm trying to get that on camera, sorry. You should feel it vibrate or beep. So there's two apps you're gonna wanna download. First and foremost, uh, you're gonna want, and they're both free, by the way, you're gonna want the USB OTG checker. There's a few of them out there, but this is basically just to make sure that the connected device is working, and it does say controller there, so we're good on that front, okay? OTG stands for on the go. It allows you to connect accessories to your smartphone, basically, okay? The other app you're gonna wanna download is the Steam Link. Now, before I continue with this video, I'm gonna assume a couple things. Aside from, you know, having this set up that you also have a Steam account and that you have a gaming rig with Steam currently running, okay? You need Steam running in order to act as the host. So if you don't have that uh, enabled right now, go ahead and set that up real quick or turn Steam on. When you first launch the Steam Link app, you're going to be asked if you want to access the controller. So we're just going to hit yes there, or okay, I'm sorry. So we're in the app, a couple things. Again, you wanna make sure your PC is on with Steam running. It's gonna prompt you to actually find your computer on the network, if you're on the same network or if they're both on the same Wi-Fi. I'm currently not on Wi-Fi, I'm using my data connection right now. What's cool is you can use this and access your whole Steam library while you're out and about using your data connection, but before that, under Steam settings on your PC, you just wanna go into Remote Play and pair Steam Link, and opening the app back on your phone for the first time will give you that four digit code you need. I'll put the instructions to do that in the description too. I already have that all set up, so I won't bore you with that. It's very straightforward, okay? But once you're in the app, again, you wanna make sure you have the check marks on. I have a slow connection because I just wanna test this on my data network, okay? But what you wanna do is go to settings, okay? And you just wanna choose controller there, okay? Xbox controller, there's a cool little function here to test it out, make sure all the buttons are working. And they'll all light up green there, so we seem to be good to go, okay? So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back again. Oh, one more time, and we're going to hit start playing. This is going to connect to your PC. I actually have the Battle.net application added. You can add a non-Steam game or application um, from your PC so that they launch through Steam. The sole purpose of that is so you can use them on the Steam Link application, whether you're using a phone or a smart TV. So we're going to go ahead and open up Blizzard. I'm going to go ahead and test out Modern Warfare. Alright, launching right up, streaming right from my PC to my phone. Now again, this is using my data connection. I do have unlimited data, so if you are using data outside of your home network, just make sure you have an unlimited plan because this is gonna suck up a, uh, quite a bit here. And we're in, I am streaming the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare right to my phone and using an Xbox One controller. Um, let's go into multiplayer real quick to see how it runs. Obviously frame rate, things like that are gonna depend on your data connection. 
Um, and another reason why I wanted to go with the cable instead of Bluetooth is that, again, while there may not be a latency issue, you're going to need every millisecond you can, uh, depending on how good your streaming service is. So we're in game, and again, I'm not going to play too long, I just kind of wanted to give you uh, an idea here. But everything is very responsive, playing beautifully. The quality is actually really well, considering I'm not even on Wi-Fi or hardwired, I'm on my Verizon data connection, but everything is very responsive. I'm kind of playing a little wonky, and I'm about to die. Alright, that's okay. Um, again, I didn't really plan on playing too, too long, I just wanted to show you the setup and how well it ran and how well it streamed. So I am very impressed by this. I should probably quit so I don't damage my... Uh, reputation here um so let me just do that real quick okay but that's that guys again you know 899 for the mount 599 for the cable they do make one for iphone i have not tested that yet but the steam link app is available on the apple uh, iphone store as well as the android one again this is the galaxy note 8 very happy with it as a phone in general and i'm using an xbox one controller you can get a mount for a ps4 controller or a Nintendo Switch controller and again I didn't see one for the Pro. I'm sure there's one out there or in the works. So that's it guys. So now you can play on the go or while you're in bed. You know us uh, millennials love to spend time in bed so uh, now you can do that right at the palm of your hands. Stream all your, your entire Steam library and virtually any game or application as long as you add it to your Steam as a non-Steam game. Okay guys thanks as always for watching. Stay tuned. My Google Stadia should be here within a few weeks and I'm definitely going to be doing an unboxing video and review of that as well. So thanks guys as always for watching. We'll catch you later.